Hey, it's Thanksgiving Day. Time to make some turkey. We're going to make it two different ways today. Both non-traditional. Sorry. Hey, see what I get. All right, so we're going to want to break this thing down into its uh, quarter components. Um, we're going to start with the legs. And the best thing to do is just use the weight of the leg to help break it down. It kind of falls off all by itself. The legs, I decided we're going to just season them up and put them on the smoker. Let them go nice and slowly all day long. There's one. I gotta get a sheet pan. So there's one tricky leg. And we're just gonna let this fall right off. We're not gonna get the wings. We're just looking for a nice, boneless don't forget the neck and gizzard yeah loves the neck 50 for a couple, well, 375 for a couple hours. Now we're gonna do sous vide, which is uh, cooking meat in a bag at very low temperature, about 150 degrees for several hours. Um, what this ensures is a perfectly consistent cooking completion straight through the product. Uh, we're gonna season it up with some butter and borsari and keep it simple. So a little trick, we want to roll the bag down a little bit so we have a nice clean edge to seal. If any fat or grease gets on there, it can be a little tricky. So we're just going to, whoop. Inside the bag, we're going to put Borsari, uh, our local favorite spice blend, and just some butter. right in this pan because we all know that the corners are the best part so this is going to be all the corners let's go over cranberry sauce real quick since i'm the only one that eats it i get to make it the way i like it i use a pack of uh, dried cranberries a pack of dried cherries and a can of welch's white grape juice 
Put it in a pot, bring it to a boil, simmer it for a while, put it in a container and throw it in the fridge. Comes out sweet, tart, chewy, nice. Something different, something simple. Three ingredients, you're in, you're out. Now we're talking. So the stock reduced down to about a quart. I added a sprig each of rosemary and thyme. Um, those flavors are appropriate and should be in the sauce as well. Uh, we're gonna tighten it up a little bit of cornstarch and finish it with some heavy cream. It's gonna be good. Six hours later. All right, so I brought up one of the sous vide turkey breasts. You can see it's Cooked all the way through, nice and juicy. We're gonna open it up, see what we get. 